Today we're going to show you how to back up your database. <laughs> hey, Elena, stop. We're trying to make a video here. Okay. Okay, so here's what I want. No, just stay there till it's over. <laughs> Evan, stay there till it's over. Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to back up your WordPress website. This is an extremely easy thing to do, website. and it's also very, very important to do on a regular basis. If yeah. you don't do it, you risk losing everything. Yeah. Does that usually happen? No. no. WordPress is stable. Most web hosts are good and they do backups. But you should be backing up your own files and your own database on a regular basis to plan for any type of unforeseen, disastrous incident. And remember, it's very, very important to do this. Yes. And it's also very important. And it's also very, very, very important to do. To do. Extremely important. Always do this. The importance of backing up your WordPress database and files regularly cannot be overemphasized. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is hover over plugins and then we're going to click add new. In here, I'm going to type in backup and then I'm going to scroll down to updraft plus backup. This is a backup plugin that I've used on other sites and I like it a lot. It's simple, it's easy, it's effective. So let's click on install now. Then we click OK and then we click activate plugin. Now we're on the plugins page and I'm going to click on settings for updraft plus backup restore. In here, I'm going to leave all the settings as is for now, but I'm going to go through them here real quick for you. You can set up scheduled backups if you'd like for your files and for your database. Why are there different backups for files and database? Well, they're different things. The database has everything that you've put into your site, all the text you've written, um, all the comments, all that kind of stuff. That's in your database. So that's the stuff you really do not want to lose because it's stuff you can't get back if you lose it. The files and all that, you can get that back by reinstalling WordPress and reinstalling plugins and things like that. But you know, we might as well back up everything if we can. So you can set schedules or you can leave it on manual. I'm going to leave it on manual because I like to do it myself once in a while. That's just me. Most people would probably like to have a schedule. I would say that weekly would be plenty for most people. Okay, the next section, I'm going to include all the files in my backup. If I want to be notified by email when my database is backed up, I can put an email in this box. I'm not going to worry about it because I'm going to download my backup as soon as it's done. I can also encrypt my backup if I want. I'm not going to worry about that either. I can also copy my backup to remote storage like Google Drive or any of these if you happen to have any of these. I don't have any of these so I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to leave the rest of this as is and I'm going to click on save changes. Okay, I'm now ready to run my first backup so I'm going to click backup now. And then I'm going to click backup now again. Now I should see this changing as it's doing some things. The backup apparently succeeded and is now complete. That's good. Now I want to download my backup. To do that, I click on this, one set available. When I click on that, this opens up underneath it. I'm going to click on database, plugins, themes, uploads. So now I have these four separate files to download. I'm going to download each of them to a spot on my computer that I can remember. So for the database, I click download to your computer and then I click OK, and then I make sure it's in a spot I can remember, like my desktop or a folder I've created, and I click Save. And I do that for each of these other three files as well. Download to your computer, OK, Save. OK, so once that's done, I have my WordPress website backed up. I am done. I can now go ahead and update my website. But I want to show you one other way to back up your database if you're not happy with this method or for some reason it doesn't work for you. And that is using cPanel. Now remember, if you've signed up with InMotion Hosting, the web host that I recommend in my description, then you have access to cPanel. cPanel is very common for most web hosts. So if you do have a hosted version of WordPress, you probably have access to cPanel. What you need to do is log into your cPanel and then type in backup. Then you'll see this backup wizard. 
Go ahead and click on that. Then click back up here. Then you'll see this. You can do a full backup of your website and that'll back up everything. If you have multiple websites, it'll back up everything. Your emails, everything that you could possibly imagine will be backed up with this. And then you can download it to your computer. But the thing is, you can't restore this full backup. Only your web host can restore the full backup. Um, I'm, you can do that and I would recommend doing that once in a while with your site. But for now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to download just my WordPress database. So I click on my SQL databases here. You'll probably only have one database in here. I have a number of different WordPress installations. So then you just click on the database that you want and then the download dialog will pop up and then you click OK and you download it to a safe place on your computer. So that's how you back up your database using cPanel. So you have two methods you can use, the cPanel method or the updraft plus plugin method that I went through a minute ago. Okay, now that we've done this, Let's go back to our main section on our dashboard and we can now update our site. So all we got to do is click please update now and then click update now. And look what it says here, important before updating please back up your database and files. Even WordPress thinks this is very important and it is. So let's go ahead and click update now since we've backed up everything and everything is safe and WordPress does its thing and WordPress has been updated successfully. Back to the dashboard. We have some more updates, three updates, and they're all plugin updates. So let's go ahead and click on plugins over here. So we can see that Akismet has an update. So we check that box. We can see that there's a new version of Fast Secure Contact Form. So we clicked that box. And we can see that there's a new version of Jetpack available. So we click that box. And then under bulk actions, we choose update and then we click apply. And all three of those plugins will be updated. So there you have it. You now know how to back up your WordPress database and files using updraft plus backups. And you now know also how to update your WordPress website and update your plugins. Remember, Always back up your WordPress database and files before updating. It's important. Hope you learned a lot from this video. Stick around. Next video coming soon. Everybody, thanks for watching our video. And 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 this. Uh, Elena, nobody could tell what you just said. It was you. You got to be clear and loud. Please subscribe to our channel now. Shit. For watching the video, please subscribe to our channel. To our channel.